Hello, I'm Mrs. Wright, and I'm going to be introducing to you the challenge, Building a Bridge That Can Hold 25 Pennies. It's based on the story, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. So I'm going to start out our challenge with the story, The Three Billy Goats Gruff. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats named Gruff. There was Little Billy Goat Gruff. There was Middle Billy Goat Gruff. And there was Big Billy Goat Gruff. The Billy Goats Gruff lived in a big grassy meadow, a stream cut through. In the stream under the bridge lived a troll. He was a snarling, sneaky, big bad bully of a troll. And when anyone wanted to cross the bridge, he would run and ram them with his head. Then he would gobble them up. This was a problem for the billy goats gruff. Their side of the meadow had lovely green grass, but there was even greener grass on the other side of the bridge. So the three billy goats gruff came up with a plan. Then they sent the littlest goat across the bridge. Little billy goat gruff's hood hooves trip, trip, trip softly on the bridge. The troll roared and waved his club. How dare you tip tap across my bridge, he hollered. I'm going to eat you up. Don't be silly, said the little billy goat gruff. I'm a very little goat. Not much of a meal for a big troll like you. There's a much bigger goat coming behind me. Hmm, said the troll. Maybe I'll wait for the bigger goat. The troll hid under the bridge to wait, and little billy goat gruff ran into the meadow. Our plan's working, middle billy goat gruff said to big billy goat gruff. It's my turn. He started across the bridge. His hoof clip clopped sharply on the wood. The troll roared and waved his club. How dare you clip clop across my bridge, he hollered. I am. Quit being a bully, middle billy goat gruff told him. This is not your bridge, and I'm not much of a meal for a troll like you. There's a much bigger goat coming soon. I'm not a bully, said the troll. Are you stronger than me, demanded middle billy goat gruff. And are you picking on me? Hmm, grumbled the troll. I'm going to wait for the bigger goat. Now it's my turn, Big Billy Goat Gruff thought to himself. His wide feet pounded across the bridge. Stomp, 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 stomp. I wonder what that bully of a troll will do now, Big Billy Goat Gruff said to himself. He stomped his feet a little bit louder. Maybe he'll leave me alone. But there was a roar from under the bridge. Who's that stomping across my bridge, bellowed the troll. He was now very cranky and very hungry. I'm Big Billy Goat Gruff, said the goat, and I want to cross the bridge. I am a troll, said Grumpy Old Troll, and I want to eat you up. Ah! Big Billy Goat Gruff snorted and waved his horns as he charged the troll. The troll growled and howled as he charged the big goat. They slammed in each other with an awful crush. Ah! And the troll who lived under the bridge never bullied anyone again. The end. Okay, now you are going to take the materials in front of you. Marshmallows. You have a baggie of pretzel sticks. You have a container of Play-Doh. You have a big Ziploc bag full of popsicle sticks and toothpicks. And you're going to create a bridge that can withstand 25 pennies. That means when you put the pennies on there, it doesn't break. So you're going to pause the video when I say go. And you're going to set your timer for eight minutes. And you're going to fill out your think sheet. Here you're going to put your name. You're going to put the challenge. You're going to list in order the steps and how to create your challenge. And you're going to construct a drawing with labels showing how to make the drawing. Now, I would suggest maybe doing two drawings, a plan A and a plan B, okay? So go ahead and pause your video now and set your timer for eight, go. Hi, welcome back. I hope you got this completed. Double check over that you have all your, your transition words, first, next, then, last, that you have your labels in your picture and it's clearly written. Now you're gonna pause the video and you're gonna use the materials that I went over earlier, marshmallows, Play-Doh, pretzel sticks, toothpicks, and craft sticks to construct a bridge that holds 25 pennies without breaking. 
Go ahead and pause the video and set your timer for 20 minutes. Go. Hi, welcome back. So how did it go? Do you need to make a reference to your plan B? Go back to your design and look at your plan B. Did something not work right? Did one of the materials not be as sturdy? Maybe think about, could you use stale marshmallows instead of fresh marshmallows? I wonder which one is sturdier, the popsicle sticks or the pipe, or the, uh, the um, toothpicks or the pretzel sticks? Does Play-Doh work better to construct that bridge? How do we make that bridge stronger? Okay, I want you to look at your design and I want you to make some improvements. Pause the video for eight minutes and come back. Go. Hi, welcome back. So let's reflect. On the bottom of your think sheet is a section called Improve. So the next time you build this, what could you do differently? I want you to take a few minutes and talk with your family. What were some of the challenges? What did you find that was easy? What materials work better than others and how would you construct this differently? Pause the video and give yourself about five minutes. Go. Hi, welcome back. Okay, now I thought it'd be kind of fun to end our session with a, a funny book that is the troll's point of view. So we heard the story with the goat's point of view. Now we're going to look at the troll's point of view. So this one is called, Listen, My Bridge is So Cool. The story of the three billy goats grow up as told by the troll. So this one is very funny. Hello, my name is Artie, and I'm the troll in the famous story about the goats. You know, the one with all the trip tripping across the bridge. Are you surprised to see me? Did you think I was done for when that biggest goat kicked me off the bridge? I thought so. Here, have some homemade bread and jam. It's wild strawberry. Settle back, and I'm going to tell you the real story. I've never been like other trolls. In troll school, I got good grades, which meant I was the worst in my class. Trolls are supposed to be smart, or not supposed to be smart. Instead of practicing roars and chest thumping, I made art and baked pies. I wasn't big and clumsy. I didn't even smell bad. Are you sure you're a troll, the other students teased? Maybe you're an elf. When we finished school, the troll placement board gave us jobs. I was to guard a little bridge in the middle of nowhere, and all the trolls laughed at me. They said, that job's perfect for you. So I loved my bridge. In my cozy home, I wrote poetry, danced, and cooked. I even played the flute. Once in a while, I saw three goats in the distance, but as soon as they saw me looking at them, the biggest goat ran away and the other two followed. One day, a crow dropped a letter on my head. Dear Artie, you're giving trolls a good name, which is very bad. Get mean, or we're going to remove you from your post, the troll patrol. <gasps> Leave my home beneath the bridge, I thought? Never. I would have done anything to stay, even if it meant acting like those other trolls did. Every day I practiced my growls, stomps, jumps, and thumps. Nervously, I waited for someone to come across my bridge. Finally, my chance came. It was a beautiful summer day. I was just about to make a batch of my world-class fresh fish stew when I heard a clickety-click overhead. That was it. I hopped up on a bridge and I said, who's tripping across my bridge? A little goat looked at me cautiously. Oh, you're the troll, he said. Uh, okay. Yes, I hollered, and I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, you don't want to eat me, the little goat said. Wait for my brother. He's much bigger. He'll come along soon. Fine, I said, and the little goat trotted off with a grin. Hmm. Back beneath the bridge, I calmed myself with a few sips of pine needle tea. Pretty soon I heard a trip, 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 trip. I scrambled on top of the bridge and I tried again. Who's tripping across my bridge, I yelled. This goat was bigger than the first. He didn't seem scared either. Oh, hey, he said. We just want to graze in that awesome patch of grass over there. Are you cool with that? Sure, that's a... I started to say, oh, wait a minute. And then I caught myself. I mean, I'm going to gobble you up. Um, maybe you could wait for my big brother, the goat said. That guy's huge. Fine, and I waved the goat off. Before I could refresh my tea, trip, 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 trip. For the third time, I pulled myself onto that bridge. Who's that tramping across my bridge? I asked the biggest goat I'd ever seen, and I thumped my chest. I'm gonna gobble you up. I mean, like right now. 
Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Gobble you up. Just watch me. Um, the big goat stood in front of me, trembling. Wait a minute, I said. Are you really scared? He nodded. Me too, I confessed in a hush. I don't want to hurt anyone. Really, but the troll patrol says I have to either act like a troll or move. And I really love my bridge. The goat continued to stare at me. I might be big, he whispered, but I'm not brave. Do your brothers tease you, I asked. Sometimes, he admitted. They didn't think you actually came to the bridge, did they, I said. He shook his head. But you did, I told him. You were scared, and you came here anyway, so you really are brave. I am, he asked. Yes, I said. Oh, this couldn't have worked out better. Let's give them a good show, I said. We'll just pretend to fight. Your brothers will change their minds about you, and the Troll Patrol will change their mind about me. And that's what we did. Rah! Pow! Boo! Ah! Psh! These days, my life under the bridge is better than ever. Ever so often, Big Bad Billy and I put up a huge pretend fight. It's making him feel better about himself. My troll skills must be improving, too. I haven't got any more letters from the Troll Patrol. Now, how about some more bread and jam? So I thought that would be a great way we can end. So I hope you enjoyed this STEM challenge. I would love to see photos of your completed bridges. So if you could upload those to the school website, that would be wonderful. Have a great day and have fun STEMming. Bye.